In this video, we'll create bell-shaped skirt variations using the new capabilities of the ellipse tool. Let's get started. For the first variation of the bell skirt, we'll use a 360 degree pattern shape. In the 2D window, we already have the pattern pieces for the top. To create the skirt shape, we'll need the length measurement of the diameter of the waist, then we can extract the radius measurement that will be used as a skirt length. To calculate the diameter, we'll divide the circumference length, in this case, it will be the waistline, by pi, which is 3.14. To get the waistline measurements, click on all the edges of the top pieces. In the context menu, we can see that the circumference is 69.8. Let's divide it by 3.14. The result is 22.22. .22. Using the Insert tool, we'll create a new ellipse. For the diameter value, we'll enter 22.22 both in the width and height, and Insert. We can see in the context menu that the size of the shape is 69.8, exactly as we wanted. Let's create a new ellipse. The length of the skirt will be calculated through the value of the radius. For example, if we would like the length of the skirt to be 50 centimeters, we'll need to change the value of the radius accordingly. Using the upgraded ellipse tool, the shape is being created with the center point. This point enables us to snap pieces, one on top of another, in the center of the circle. Let's select the smaller shape and trace it as an internal line. This piece is not needed anymore, so we can remove and delete it. This internal line will be used as a skirt's waistline. Let's convert it to a hole. In the arrange window, we'll add the new piece of the skirt as a new cluster in the torso and change the cluster type to parallel to floor. We can see in the 3D window that the whole measurements fit exactly on the waistline. Now, let's stitch the skirt to the top using the multi-stitch function. Once completed, we can click on prepare. For a smoother simulation, we can use the freeze pose option under the styling tool. This will freeze the avatar's arms, so they won't collide with the garment during the simulation. After the simulation is complete, we can disable the freeze pose option. Great! Here is our first bell skirt made from a full circle shape. Let's save a snapshot and name it 360. Now, let's create another variation. A 360 degree circle has a lot of volume. Let's create half of it. We'll start by inserting a new ellipse. First, let's change the diameter to 22.22 for the waistline. To have a 180 degree pattern piece, we'll divide 360 by 2 in the sector field. When dividing the sector by 2, we'll need to multiply the radius accordingly by 2. Let's insert the shape. Choosing the edges of the shape, we can see that the amount is exactly the same as our waistline, 69.8. Let's create another ellipse. For the radius, we'll add 50 centimeters for the length of the skirt and insert. Using the snap to point, we'll place a small shape on top of the bigger one and extract this part. These parts are no longer needed, so we can move them to the side. Let's arrange the new shape. In this variation, we'll add the shape to the skirt cluster. Using the 3D gizmo to adjust the positioning for easier simulation. Let's go ahead and stitch. We'll start with a side stitch to close the skirt and use the multi-stitch function to stitch the waistline to the top. As before, after clicking on prepare, we'll use the freeze option to freeze the avatar's arms. When the garment simulation is finished, we can go ahead and disable the freeze option again. Here is the 180 degree bell skirt. Let's save a snapshot and compare it with the full circle that we created before. We can see the volume difference. Now, let's create another variation. This time, we'll use a third of a circle. We'll start by creating a new ellipse and change the radius to our starting point which is 22.22 for the waistline. In the sector field, we'll divide 360 by 3 and multiply the radius by 3. Clicking on the round edge of the shape, 
we can see that the measurement of the waistline is the same as before. Let's create another ellipse. Add the length of 50 centimeters to the skirt radius and insert. As before, we'll snap the shapes on top of each other and extract the shape that is created. These shapes are no longer needed, so we can move them to the side and keep them as a reference. Let's start by rotating the shape. Select these two points and use right click and choose Rotate Piece Horizontal. Select these two points again and right click to rotate the green line to be perpendicular. Now, we'll arrange a new piece in the skirt cluster. Let's stitch. First, we'll stitch the side of the skirt to close it. Then we'll use a multi-stitch to stitch the waistline to the top. Here is the new 120 degree skirt. Let's save a snapshot and once again, we can compare the skirt volume with the previous 180 degree and 360 degree skirts. For our final variation, we'll use symmetry in the skirt creation process. As a starting point, we'll use the 120 degree shape. Let's start by creating a new ellipse. We'll change the radius value to the original starting point, 22.22. The sector field is 120 degrees, which is 360 divided by 3, so we need to multiply the radius by 3 accordingly. As we would like to use symmetry, we just need a quarter of the shape. Let's divide the sector by 4 without changing the value of the radius. That way, we have 4 equal pieces. Now, let's insert another ellipse and add the length of the skirt to the radius. Next, we will snap the shapes on top of each other and extract the shape that was created. The original shapes are not needed anymore. Let's rotate the shape to be vertical and the green line to be parallel to it. Now we can create an edge symmetry and then duplicate the shape. For the duplicated shape, we'll cancel the inner symmetry and keep half of it. Then create X symmetry to the shape. Let's arrange the new pieces. We'll use separate clusters on the skirt and the back skirt. Now we'll stitch the waistline and the side seams to the center back using the multi-stitch function. Here is our new 120 degree skirt. This time, it's made of four pieces with symmetry. Let's save a snapshot and name it 120 by 4. We can now view all the variations that were created using the new capabilities of the ellipse tool. To learn more, visit our help center, help.browseware.com.